And moving on now to our big story this morning, a push to shift the culture at UConn. Some students are demanding racism and hatred be addressed after two students were arrested for allegedly shouting racial slurs through a campus parking lot. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live at UConn's campus and stores where students are leading that charge. Carolina? Especially students of color who say they know what it's like to be called the N word, but they say that it's never happened to them in a place where they live and study only in passing. And they say that unless the culture here changes, um, nothing will, they, they want those changes to happen um, here on campus, including the culture. Charter Oak Apartments, October 11th. Three people are seen walking through the complex yelling racial slurs. Police arrested two of the three, Jared Corral and Ryan Mukosh, both 21. They are facing race-related charges. Police determined the third person did not participate. Students marched and met with leaders to press the university to bring more diversity to the administration. They want changes in the student code of conduct, saying past administrators have allowed problems to continue. Actions include hiring at least 10 black administrators, faculty, staff, and police officers. Also creating a class on diversity and discrimination for first-year students. As a person of color, we know what we deal with. And so if we can teach in ways that will allow students to have a new perspective, then change can come about. You can't teach something that you don't know about. The university president, he also released a statement and in it he condemned that video and the actions in the video. If the campus and the university were to implement those changes, they have about three months for the spring of 2020 semester. Reporting in stores, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.